Jimena, hey, congratulations on your brand new song, Aqui No Hay Peña. Thank you. Thank you so much. We're, we're very happy with this release and happy to be here as part of the film festival's activities. How, 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 does it, how, do, how do you feel about uh, releasing this film um, right, uh, right here today at uh, Tribeca? Um, I feel great. I feel really happy to be a part of this project. Um, I got to meet the directors and producers yesterday uh, for the first time in person, and it felt really right, um, you know, to be a part of this. I think, you know, it's a pretty much all female um, crew and, and, you know, and, and team. Um, and that goes very much in line with what I what I've been doing, and sort of like the message of the film, and also the the message of, of the song. So, so tell us how you were brought on board uh, to uh, to basically create the title song for the documentary on the divide. Well, um, they they showed me the film. You know, they approached me directly to see if I could write something. First of all, I had something that could work, um, but once I saw the film, I totally felt that it needed its own voice and its own world. And um, so I got direct inspiration from the film. Um, actually, I I used a sample from, from one of the uh, people in the documentary, um, a woman that's performing Olympia, and she's, you know, singing um, this uh, phrase over and over, and it's sort of um, something very healing to one of the um, documentary's protagonists, and um, I kind of wanted to take that um, emotion and to take that, um, uh, what that voice achieves um, through the, um, through this documentary's character, um, and sort of make it a part of the song. And because, you know, the song pretty much talks about, um, you know, women helping other women and sort of what I, if I was in that situation where I had to go through something. Um, so um, uh, difficult um, or so, meaningful like um an abortion um what i would like to hear um from from my peers <laughs> uh, from other women and um i think that's sort of like what i wanted the song to illustrate it's a it's a song about uh essentially a song about bravery and encouragement don't you say totally you know it's it's um sort of like this message of, of, you know, we've got your back um, type of, of, of song, you know, and, and it's very soothing to hear that. Um, and I think as women, we, we need to hear that from each other and we need to hear that in general from society, I guess, you know, that everything's gonna be okay. And, you know, we're help, helping each other, you know, just be, happy with who we are and, and you know feel safe and feel you know that you're free to do whatever you want as a woman and to your your own um, owner I guess it it sounds like the documentary on the divide really resonated with you completely I mean I think um there's it, it's totally up my alley and I'm working a lot um, on uh, women's um, equality and women's rights with um, UN women in Mexico. Um, my last uh, song that I released was um, Ano Llorar and it was, it's like a very distinct effort towards uh, reaching gender equality in the music industry. You know, I worked with um, female producers and female songwriters and uh, musicians, uh, female directors, cinematographers, um, 
uh, photographers, um, and you know, it's, it's it's something that's very close to my heart, and something that I you know I'm trying to to really um, uh, do more in from my field, um, and that's sort of like when um, on the divide comes to comes to me, um, and. And to me, it's this song, um, Akino Ipena, feels kind of like a continuation of sort of like this um, message of, of women helping out other women um, in a more, I guess, direct way. You, is uh, activism has always been in your blood? Um, you, you seem like you, you, you look. You, you have a lot of uh, activism uh, issues that you'd like to address. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, um, I started, I guess, ever since I was young, it was something uh, important to me always to give back. Um, I, uh, I've always felt like a very lucky person. Um, you know, I'm, I'm able to do what I want. Um, I'm a woman, you know, that is, I'm the owner of my own career. Um, and, you know, I do music, which is, you know, a gift in itself um, to be able to do this for a living. Um, and I've always felt that um, sort of to be grateful for that is, you know, you have to give back to people who, who don't really um, have those opportunities or who don't have life as good as I have it. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so that's always been important. Um, and I've worked with things that are important to me that resonate a lot with me. And, um, and I guess ever since, um, yeah, I think it was 2015 that I started um really understanding the effects of uh, gender inequality and how um, beneficial it would be to society in general, to both men and women to, you know, have uh, more equality. Um, and I think that's definitely something that I've been trying to be more um, active and to do more from, from my, my field. Most excellent. Um, for those people who don't know, um, how do you describe your music style? Well, I come from an alternative music background. I mean, I grew up listening to um, rock and alternative music and alternative pop. Um, I, I have a jazz um, background because that's what I went to school for. I did jazz and um, I kind of fused, um, infused my music with, with jazz. Um, but I'm also really eclectic and open and I've um, throughout my career I've just um, collaborated with so many different artists. Um, you know, artists that do more traditional music or that do more Latin music. Um, urban, electronic, uh, really, um, really, I don't think I've left any music genre untouched. <laughs> and uh, I mean, it's something that I enjoy doing. I love experimenting. I love collaborating. And to me, it's just this immense pool of knowledge um, that I'm just really curious to explore and to sort of expand my musicality. Excellent. And um, let me uh, let me ask you one more uh, thing. Um, do, you, do you have your uh, up, up, an upcoming album or more singles on, on the way for uh, this year for 2021? I, yeah, that? I do. Um, I am releasing a new album October uh, of this year. Um, and I think we're releasing a couple of uh, more singles for that. So I'm excited about that. Excited um, to be able to uh, reveal the entire concept of the album and, um, and have people listen to it um, under that context. And, you know, um, that's always just really exciting. It's kind of like 
um, sharing your, um, I guess, your feature film um, or your full length, you know, film. Um, and um, because it is sort of a project that takes, you know, a year and a half to really put together into kind of like a, like a movie. Most that, that is great to hear. Well, hey, thank you all for speaking to us about uh, the brand new single and in uh, participation in the documentary on the divide. And um, have fun at Rebecca. Thank you. We are thank you. definitely happy. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Next time. Bye, Bye now.